channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be filming a skincare haul of a few bits that I picked up from Amazon. I got these items just after Christmas with some Christmas money. I didn't really have any skincare products, so I just wanted to kind of refresh my whole skincare area and just have like a new routine something that I can stick to and see if I see improvements I have been using these items for the last week and a half so I do have some opinions about some things the first thing that I got isn't really like a skincare product but I use it when I'm doing my skincare this came as a pack of three these are just some like little bunny headbands as you can see I've got makeup on it but that happens when you're using them to take your makeup off so I think my battery's saying it's low um should be fine um so i got that i've heard a lot of people talk about the brand the inky list and i have never tried any products from them before but i know that people rave about this product so this is the oat cleansing balm from inky list and it looks like this so it is a very large bottle and it's a very kind of creamy consistency now i have tried a lot of cleansing balms in my life i even used to make one for my little skincare business that i used to have and this is an amazing cleansing balm it literally melts your makeup away it leaves your skin feeling really soft and it's just so easy to kind of work into the skin some cleansing balms can be quite hard and they don't really kind of melt into the skin easily but this really does and the only problem I think that other people have with this is that when you get to the end, it's a struggle to get it out, but I can't see that happening. And also just put it on the radiator for a little bit and it will just melt a little bit, maybe. I don't know. Um, either way, I would cut this open to get this product out. I really love this. I also picked up the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Cleanser Gel. Now, this is meant to be a super hydrating sorry the hair um yeah this is meant to be a super hydrating facial wash it is new they haven't um like this has recently come out and it says that it contains hyaluronic acid which is what is you know there for skin hydration i love hyaluronic acid it does make your skin really plump and yeah i like this it's nothing special it doesn't have like a particularly different scent it's not necessarily different to any other product that i've got but it cleanses my skin I have a cock complaint. So we have an absolute bargain on our hands here. So I only paid five pounds and I got three of these. Now th look at the size of this. This is a really decent sized product and I got three of them for five pounds. So go over to Amazon and get these. Um, this is the Cyclax Nature Pure Apricot Facial Scrub. So you get a really big tub of it and I'll just show you what it looks like. Oh, great. I'm going to make a mess. I can tell. Um, but this is what it looks like on the inside. Now, what I love about this product is how creamy it is. Obviously, it has little scrubby bits in it to exfoliate, but it also softens the skin at the same time, which I think is genius. Like to have a product that exfoliates your skin and softens it whilst you're doing that is amazing. My skin does feel noticeably soft after using this. I've not had that kind of soft skin feeling in a very long time. And yeah, I really like this. I could not recommend this enough. It smells really nice. It glides on the skin really nice. And I don't just use it as a facial scrub. I use it as a body scrub as well. Next up, we have a face mask. So this is the Super Facialist Salicylic Acid Anti-Blemish Pore Purifying Clay Mask. I love a good clay mask and I think that for my skin type they just make the most difference. I have oily skin and I think clay masks just kind of balance out the oils in your skin quite nicely. My skin feels fresh when using this product after using it and yeah I can't give it like a crazy review right now because I haven't used it that much. It does have an interesting smell. I wouldn't say it's a nice smell, I would say it's different. Um, it's not bad but it's not good so I don't know it's medium but it's like a brownie kind of color but it does make my skin feel really nice salicylic acid is a good ingredient for getting rid of spots and blemishes so I guess this is good for like detoxing your face and if this is the kind of product you're looking for then go for it I think it was only like four pounds I also picked up these from t-zone so these are the charcoal and bamboo pore strips now I have not used these in ages but they come in like little Kind of pouches and like the image shows on here you just basically wet your nose with water 
and then you put the strip on your nose and you leave it on for 10 minutes until it's dried and then you gently peel it off and it's meant to kind of bring out all the impurities in your nose any like little black heads or like dirt or anything that's in your nose and it's so interesting to look at when you actually use it afterwards you're just like fascinated by how it looks obviously if you do have black heads this is not going to really pull them out it's not that strong you do have to use other products um, and tools and things like that but this is great just to use every once in a while we have a controversial product it's controversial for me because i love it and i hate it at the same time so this is an eyebrow dye now I have always for the past three years used the Maybelline eyebrow dye where you kind of put it on your eyebrows and then you peel it off afterwards and it leaves your eyebrows dyed. Now that only lasts like a few days for me. It doesn't really last long at all and it washes off really easily. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to try something new. So I tried this one from Demure and it's the Professional Colour Gel Eyebrow and Eyelash Tint. Um, I'm not sure what shade I got it in. I'll have a little look. Oh, it's in the shade number three brown and this is dark also it is very much a hair dye you get in it like this and also this so you know when you have a hair dye box i can't really remember what they're actually called but you have two things that you're meant to mix together to kind of activate it well this is exactly the same it's just a miniature hair dye bottle and it comes with a little spoolie brush thingy to kind of brush it onto your eyebrows i'm trying to get it out um here and then this little applicator guy now i was treating this like the maybelline one because with that you can be quite rough with it and it doesn't stain your skin this does and it lasts a very long time i love it because it lasts a very long time like it will last like three weeks or a month or something after just using a tiny bit of product so this whole box will last me like a year or something or even more than that but I had done like really thick eyebrows thinking that like, oh, most of the product will get washed off. No, I had massive dark eyebrows for ages. And because my hair has been bleached and I've gone like mostly blonde, it does not suit my hair colour and therefore it stands out. And everybody commented on it when like I first saw people that I hadn't seen in a while saying, have you dyed your eyebrows? And I was like, yes, like it's a situation. I tried to scrub at them, they wouldn't get any lighter, but over time they have lightened a little bit. With makeup on it looks fine, like in my opinion it doesn't look awful, but without makeup on you can notice it. But I would recommend this, you just have to use this sparingly. Would I repurchase this? Most definitely, but like I said, use it sparingly. So I picked up this, this is from Nivea, it's the Firming and Radiance Gradual Tanner, this is in the shade Fair to Medium. I wish that I'd got a darker shade because this hasn't really done anything for me. I used, I used to use the one from Dove and that one was excellent, like I really like that one, it worked really well for me. This just doesn't show anything up, like it's literally, like I applied this the other day and look how pale I am. So I wouldn't recommend this and I wouldn't repurchase this. I now have my little skincare tray here of products. All of them are new. So I literally bought my whole skincare routine all over again. All of these products are very affordable. You know, they're very cheap. They're not crazy expensive. So if you're looking for kind of like a good full skincare routine for a cheap price, then carry on watching. Um, I will be doing a skincare routine very soon, showing you my morning and evening skincare routine. This may seem a bit excessive, but I did kind of get a little bit happy with all of these products. And also some of these products may not work too well together. I'm not sure on the order of when I'm meant to use the products. And yeah, anyway, you'll see. So I got this eye cream from the brand Face Facts. It is a ceramide replenishing eye cream. It's got hyaluronic acid in it and oats. And remember I said hyaluronic acid is really good for skin hydration. It's got a really good kind of applicator thing so that you can be very precise with it and pop it under your eyes. I can't really give a review of this. It's just nice and moisturizing. Um, I don't have wrinkles, so I can't really say it's improved anything like that. But I just thought like it was like three pounds or something. 
I'll give it a go. I then have this Paula's Choice Exfoliating um, 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. This has got salicylic acid in it, which is good, like I said, for spots and blemishes. It's good for unclogging pores. It's good for exfoliating the skin. Um, this has been like a product that a lot of people have spoken about and said is really, really good. It sinks into the skin really nicely. It could potentially be quite drying if you've got dry skin. So maybe I wouldn't recommend this if you do have dry skin. Then, of course, we have this. This is hyaluronic acid. This is a regenerating serum. So this will give really nice skin hydration. I love hyaluronic acid in general. It just makes my skin feel so plump, so soft. Um, it gives more life into it, especially when I've used this in the evening. Wake up in the morning, my skin is so nice and fresh and plump. And just putting makeup on just feels so nice. And the brand was Eclat, I think. But it's like kind of like a syrupy kind of texture. It feels hydrating. I then have this skincare product from Simple. This is the Vitamin B3 Niacinamide Booster Serum and this is meant to reduce redness. Now my mum has rosacea and I probably have it like a tiny little bit. I'm not sure but I do get some kind of skin redness every so often and I just wanted to try this. To be honest with you I just wanted to do like step by step of my skincare. I just enjoy doing my skincare routine. I whack on a YouTube video. I do my skincare like I enjoy it so I just wanted as many products as possible but I think that will be good to try and help with that but I will have to keep you updated on this product. Now this I do have a review for so this is the Garnier Skin Active Vitamin C Brightening Serum. Now this has got SPF 25 in it as well so this is a great product for the morning before you do your makeup just to have that extra kind of sun protection factor in there um, on top of the sun you know the SPF I've got in my foundation as well and even in the summer when you have sun cream on as well it's just extra 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 protection from the sun which is always good this is so soft and smooth it glides onto the skin it smells really nice and I enjoy using this product and if there's any kind of skincare product I would recommend from this video it's probably this and the facial scrub because I just think this is a great product and the fact that it just makes my skin so hydrated and soft afterwards just and the enjoyable experience of using it just makes it worth it and it wasn't like a really expensive price either so I highly recommend that. I then got this serum this is a retinol serum from Face Facts and it's there to target fine lines and uneven skin tone. This is a great skincare ingredient for wrinkles and like it says fine lines. Retinol is a proven ingredient to improve your like fine lines and wrinkles. A lot of skincare products out there are not proven. This is. So you want one that's got like a decent percentage in it. I'm only young, so it doesn't really matter too much about like having, you know, um, a good retinal serum. But if you're a bit older, you might want to invest in something more expensive than this. But this one's nice. I can't really give a review, like I said, because I don't have wrinkles, but it's always good to prevent. Now, this is probably something I didn't need, but I didn't realise um, that... I had got this. I didn't realise this had got salicylic acid in it, but this is another salicylic acid toner. This is from Revolution and it is a serum and it's 2% and like I said, it helps with blemishes. I just pop a little bit of this on because I don't want to go crazy, don't want to dry my skin out. Um, so I just pop a little bit of that one, a little bit of that on like after all of the other products, but it was probably a bit of a mistake purchase only two more products left. So here is, sorry my voice just broke, here is another product from the Inky List and again I'm obsessed with this product as well. The Inky List so far are like I'm loving and I'm hoping that the rest of their products are just as good because I'm going to try some other things but this is the Vitamin B, C and E Moisturiser. This is perfect for my skin. I have oily skin and this is more like a gel moisturiser and a gel texture so it sinks into my skin really nicely. I can use it in the morning before makeup because it doesn't make my face really greasy and oily throughout the day. As you can see my skin is not an oily mess right now and I've used this product this morning. I really like it. It's so smooth. It smells nice. It sinks into the skin. It's lightweight, but it also 
has loads of skincare benefits. So yeah, it's also a de decent price as well. So yeah, I would recommend. And then last but not least, I am very much out of breath right now. I have castor oil. Now I literally picked up this 100% um, pure organic castor oil from Eva Naturals on Amazon. And I picked this up because I wanted to grow my eyelashes a little bit. And it says it will lengthen your lashes over time. It comes with this little guy here, which is kind of used to dot on your actual lash line and also a brush to kind of brush the product through your lashes. And hopefully this will make my lashes grow a little bit longer. I have been a bit naughty and I have been using um, facial wipes to remove my mascara and it just pulls some of your eyelashes out so it's not good to do that um, and I just want to grow them back. You can also use this on your eyebrows as well if you want your eyebrows to grow a little bit longer but yeah I just thought to try that out. So that is everything I purchased off of Amazon recently for skincare. I have got another haul coming soon of makeup and hair care but I thought it would be too long to include it in this video but I'm super excited and happy with everything that I got. The only product I regret is the tanning, the Nivea Gradual Tan. Everything else I really love. If I'd recommend anything particularly from this video, it would be these two products, the facial scrub and the vitamin C serum from Garnier. And also Inky List. I love Inky List so far. So please don't tell me anything bad about the brand because I actually really like those products. But yeah, so thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in a future video. Thanks for watching and goodbye.